What's up everyone, this is uh, DVDJ Unique here. I'm gonna go over the footprint of the SVM. I'm gonna start on the left and move right over to the right. Up in the uh, upper left hand corner we have the USB port. We have two video sources right on the face of the mixer so you don't have to reach over to the back to plug in that video source that it is you're looking for. Located right here you have a microphone input. This is just one, there are, there are two. The other one's located on the back. Moving right on down you have your microphone levels and your EQs for your microphone. Your microphone uh, off, on, and talk over. Definitely a cool feature, especially if you're doing corporate events or any private events. You definitely want to look into that. Next, we have our fader starts, one for each channel. Moving right on down, our headphone, our headphone um, uh, knobs. You have your mix level, and you have your your levels. Your headphone split, whether it's mono or stereo. And then you have moving right from the left and right channels one through four. And for the most part, they're all identical, except for two features. The outside two channels have an additional video source, and those video sources are these two here. The top one is uh, for channel one, the bottom one was for channel four. And the inside two have an additional audio source. It's the digital port. So you can actually run your players directly into the mixer digitally instead of going analog. Uh, and it's as simple as just knocking the switcher ov over to digital. Uh, right in the center of the, uh, the mixer, you have the two touch screens. The top one is for all the effects, and the bottom one is for all of the uh, video fader uh, functions, as well as your four preview monitors, one for each channel, so you can actually see what it is that um, is about to play, or so you can select the, the video source that it is that you want. Um, on each side of the video screens, you have all the different features uh, that will affect, change, either the patterns or the effects, audio or video, um, that, you, that it is you have chosen. Um, this is your wet and dry uh, level for your effects. This is your on and off switch for your effects. This is your tap button for your, for your beats per minute. Um, this is your cue level, so you can actually listen to the effect, the audio effect through your headphones if you like. Uh, moving on up, these two knobs here are for the video and audio effects. They change either the patterns or the frequencies or the different speeds of the, of the effects. And then this is your channel selection for your actual effects. Uh, channels one through four, your microphone, your crossfader, A and B, and your master. Um, moving all the way over to the right, you actually have a video master level. What that is, is uh, just like you have an audio master level, which you can increase the volume, this is a video master level, so you can increase the brightness of the video. And because there is a master, there also is a trim. Each channel has a video trim located right below the uh, video input knob, and that again will increase the brightness level of each of the video sources. Right below that is the audio trim. It increases the audio for uh, the audio trim, the audio level for those for each of your channels. Uh, again, moving all the way over to the right, this is your mono and your stereo split for your master level. You have your LEDs to to show the dB levels for your master. And then these buttons running right across are for your Q for your headphones. And that is the footprint of the SVM 1000.